Hi, in this video we're going to look at the idea of approximating a binomial distribution to a normal distribution and the idea of using what's known as a continuity correction. So we've got here the random variable x binomially distributed with n is 20 and probability of success is 0 0.5 is being approximated by a normal distribution. Apply a suitable continuity correction to each of the following probabilities. Probability that x is less than or equal to 7, probability that x is just greater than 8, probability that x is less than or equal to, sorry, greater than or equal to 6, but less than 12, but not equal to it, and the probability that x is actually just equal to one particular value, 11. Right, the problem is here, is that we are using a continuous distribution, i.e. the normal, to approximate to a discrete variable, and therefore we must make this idea of a continuity creation. Now the, one of the reasons for actually do, doing this approximation is we've got to have, if n is very very large then it's very difficult to calculate uh, these probabilities uh, with a calculator or using the tables. So, um, for example, but particularly like if n was 50 or 100. Okay, so we use this idea, we approximate a uh, the binomial binomial by a normal distribution. So in the first case, we've got the probability that x is less than or equal to seven. So what I'm going to do is to show you how to look at the, get the diagram from a G algebra. So if you go to a G algebra page, you just open up the app, either in Windows uh, or Mac or even on your iPad, and you go to this one here. It says View and you scroll down to this one it says probability calculator this one here and open it and this this opens up uh, make the window bigger and then you need to grab the bottom here and make it a bit more so that you can see okay we've got normal distribution here we want to change that back to a, uh, a binomial distribution and I'm going to put uh, it all, all by default it does n is uh, 20 and p is 0 0.5 okay I'm just going to do the less than and I'm just going to put in there 7 and that gives me uh, what I want now if you go to the top here you'll see there's a normal curve here and you can click that and you, you, this is what we are doing we're approximating this these uh, discrete probabilities to a continuous variable okay so this is how you set it up so in the diagrams that you see you can change the uh, numbers here this one is less than this one is in between two values and this one is more than okay but these are less than or equal to and this is more than or equal to and the same applies here so you just need to set it up correctly okay so that's in GeoGebra. So going to back to the problem, there's the diagram that I just done. Now look, we're doing less than or equal to seven. We're including all these probabilities. So we've got this got seven to to eight. We've got a big distance here. So what we need to do is consider this value here, which is seven point five. And what we do for the normal distribution is consider x being less than seven point five. That is the continuity correction applied to that particular problem and that is the answer to part A. We're not actually doing the uh, working out the probability we're just applying the continuity correction. Okay in the second case we're doing the probability greater than 8 so that will look at this situation. Greater than 8 means that 9, 10, 11, 12 etc are all shaded so therefore we want this one here which is uh, 8.5 so therefore we need to consider the probability of x being greater than 8.5. So that becomes that. And then if you if you use GeoGebra like this for a few times, it will come natural what you need to do. The probability of x being between 6 and 12. So less more than or equal to 6, but less than 12. So 12 is not shaded. And obviously that one there is 5.5 and this one here is going to be 11.5 so this becomes with the continuity correction probability between 5.5 
x is greater than or less than 11.5. That's the answer to that one. In the last case, probability that x is equal to 11, well, that's just going to be one bar shaded, but that's quite easy because this point here is 10.5 and this point here is 11.5. OK, so this becomes a probability of x being between 10.5 and 11.5 when you're using the normal to approximate. OK, I hope this video has helped you try to understand the continuity corrections. Uh, obviously, we'll be applying this uh, throughout all these next few uh, examples as well. But I hope you've understood, and I thank you very much for watching.